and welcome to Pilates. My name is Ginny and this is a 40, 45 minute workout beginner's Pilates. For those of you who have never done Pilates before um, or perhaps for different reasons um, are relatively new to exercise um, and you want to kind of just focus on getting yourself back into shape and trying to tone up those areas a little bit and become a little bit more aware of your posture and your well-being. Okay, so this is all about trying to balance out strength and weaknesses, find where those areas are and focus on them. Okay, so we're going to start with your feet a comfortable distance apart. Now, you don't need um, expensive footwear for this. You can actually do this in bare feet. Just make sure you can actually grip the floor that your feet aren't going to slide, okay? So for me, I've got um, footwear on which are completely pliable. They bend and flex in all directions, okay? So, knees nice and soft. Place your hands on your thighs gently for me. And you're going to bring your chin gently down to your chest. And you're going to slowly roll down through that spine, still with your hands on your thighs. And roll to a point that you feel comfortable. When you get there, just take a breath and relax. Now, if you're happy, you can extend and roll all the way down to the floor. But go as far as is comfortable. Take a breath once you are there. Then gently place your hands back on those thighs, bend those knees and slowly tuck your tail under to roll gently back up again. All right, let's do that again. So your knees are bent. You bring your chin down to your chest. Just slowly roll down. Use those thighs to support you. Roll gently down as far as you're happy. You can take it as far as you want. If you're happy, take it a little bit further. Take a breath. Relax into it. Again, place the hands on those thighs to assist tucking your tail under, slowly rolling up. Take your time and bring yourself back up. Okay, keep your knees soft. We never lock knees out because it locks your pelvis out. So keep your knees slightly bent, which means your pelvis can move. All right, you're going to take a breath gently through your belly button. So this is what we talk about with core. You have three layers of abdominal muscles and the first most important layer is called your transverse. It wraps from your spine all the way around to the center and that's what your core muscles are. Your rectus or your six pack that everybody talks about, they're superficial, they sit on the top and they allow you to flex. These ones that we're going to be using and I want you to find so you can start using them more are your support system. They're the ones that hold your skeleton and all your bones in place. Okay, so let's introduce ourselves to our core muscles. Keep those knees nice and soft. I want you to very gently breathe in through your belly button. So suck your belly button in, breathe in. Sucking your belly button through towards the small of your back. Suck it all the way through. You will feel those core muscles turn on. And you'll feel that your pelvis has now moved into what we call neutral position. Now, if you let your belly button go, feel what happens to your pelvis. All right? So breathe in. Suck that belly button in. Suck him all the way through. Bring that pelvis into neutral. Now breathe out, but keep pulling that belly button in. That's now turned on your transverse. Again, let the belly button go and feel what happens. Tummy muscles fall forward, pelvis falls forward, no support system, all right, in your lower back. So again, breathe through that belly button. Exhale, keep sucking that belly button in. Beautiful. Now hold that belly button in there. Keep breathing gently and normally, but trying to keep that belly button in. Lift your sternum for me. So this is all posture, all right? Imagine a rod or a a pole down the center of your back. All right, you've got to lift your sternum up, which opens up the chest, bring your shoulders open, standing in that lovely long line. Place your head on the center of your spine. Relax your shoulders. Now very gently take your ear over to your left shoulder. Imagine you're between two panes of glass. Close your eyes. Take a big breath in, exhale, and just relax those shoulders as you get a lovely stretch down the top of your right shoulder there. Just relax. Still focus on that belly button. I'm going to get you used to this one. Now very gently bring him back to centre. Beautiful. Let's go the opposite side. So the ear goes to shoulder. The head doesn't fall forward. 
Imagine you're between two panes of glass, the ear gently to your shoulder. And again, take a breath. Feel the stretch gently down the top of the shoulder, relax. Keep that belly button in though. Beautiful. And very gently bring your head to center. Now, keep your sternum lifted. We're going to open up the vertebrae, the, sp the, the spinal vertebrae in the back of your neck. You're going to slowly bring your chin down to your chest, keeping this chest open. I don't concave, I don't round it. Bring your chin down. You'll feel the stretch in the back of that neck. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Hold the stretch. And very slowly bring your head back up to center. That is magic and relax. Now we're gonna slowly tilt our head up. We do never look directly up. We only ever look to the diagonal, okay? So just gently look up at the diagonal. Just getting a little stretch on the inside of the vertebrae there. We just don't look directly up because when you do that, you crush and compress vertebrae. We don't need to do that. And then very gently bring him back to center. Well done. Let's circle these shoulders around. So this is all about getting you familiar, all right, with what you're doing. The most important thing is to understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. That way exercise is easy because you can adapt it to suit you. All right, so big shoulder circles. It's just about mobility and relax. Okay, we're gonna shrug. We're gonna slowly lift those shoulders up into those ears and we're gonna drop and let go. And again, all up into those ears. Drop and let go. And again, all the way up. Drop. And one more. All the way up. And drop. And relax. Well done. Can you place your left hand on your shoulder? We're going to draw some lovely circles with the left elbow. Now, as you draw those circles, bring the elbow all the way back and down and around. Try and make them as big as you can, but I'm not moving my body. I am just simply moving that shoulder girdle area. One more. And just relax. Well done. Let's do the other side. So hand on your shoulder and again, gently circle. Remember the object of the game is to improve, okay? This is starting point. This is base one. The more you do these, the more the muscles will start to become familiar, relax. You'll start to improve your range of movement, your strength and your flexibility. That's what it's all about. Building the blocks, nice and steady. All right, and properly and safely. All right, and relax. If your body tells you it doesn't like something, don't do it. We can adapt everything, all right? Now, we just loosened up the shoulder area nicely. We're going to do a little bit of uh, rotation through the upper vertebrae. So imagine you're standing between the two panes of glass, shoulders are facing forward. You're basically going to turn your head to the side, to the right, as far as you comfortably can. And just hold that stretch. Now bring the palm on that side to the cheek and just assist the stretch gently. Keep those shoulders facing forward though. Use your breath. See how far you can see behind you. And then slowly relax. Well done, let's do the other side. So slowly look over the shoulder, palm against that cheek. Keep these shoulders forward. And very gently bring it back to center. Well done. Now, wrists and fingers. Clench your fingers, stretch your fingers. This is one area that lots of people struggle with, particularly as they get older. All right, there's lots of joints in your fingers and in your feet. But your fingers get used a lot. They get stressed and strained very easily. And we do suffer with them. So do make sure you keep these moving and mobile. So just clenching and stretching. All right, from there, we're going to draw circles with those wrists. Get those wrist joints moving. Now, bring your palms together gently, fingers pointing up, and just slowly raise those elbows up and bring them down. 
And again, gently raise them up and down. Bring them all the way up and down. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed as you do. One more. And down. And relax. Well done. Circle those shoulders around. Okay, we should be starting to free up a little bit. Now we're going to loosen up around the pelvis and the hips. So all I'm going to get you to do is some little hip circles. This isn't big ones, they're little. Keep these shoulders still. Just let the hips do the circling. My knees are soft. All right. And the opposite way direction, gently. Nice and steady. Well done. Magic. All right, and relax gently. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna spread the toes on our left foot. We're gonna roll through the ball of the foot and flex up through that heel. All right, flex in through. As you flex, straighten that leg very gently. And make a point of splaying those toes out. Spread those toes out so you get full movement through that foot. One more. And relax. Well done. Let's do the opposite side. So spread those toes out and flex them through. It's all about getting those joint areas working. Do one more for me. And relax. Well done. Bring him back to center. Nice and relaxed. Okay. We're going to do a nice spinal roll again. Okay. So we're loosened up a little bit. Bend those knees, chin to chest. And again, hands on those thighs. Slowly roll yourselves down. Again, go to a point that's comfy. All right. You can go all the way if you wish. Take a breath. Those knees nice and bent. Now slowly hands on the front of those thighs, tuck the tail under, and just assist yourself slowly up, all the way up. And this time take a big breath at the top. Feel those lungs up, out and down. Take another big breath in. Out and down. And relax. Okay. Now from here, we're going to do some gentle squats. Now squats are the best simple movement. All right. In everyday life, we squat, we lift, we lunge. We, it's like learning how to do it correctly. What you don't do is squat with rotation. Okay. We squat in a perfect direct line. Think about a dog when he sits back onto the ground, he sits straight back on his hind legs and pushes himself up. He doesn't twist and turn and do weird things like most humans do, which is why we get so many problems in our lower back, okay? So we've got to keep these muscles strong. So our quads, hamstrings, and glutes, they're your powerhouses, okay? So let's get these nice and strong. Turn your toes directly forward. They are wider than my hips, and my knees are pressed out. Now, a weakness is when knees roll in, all right? That identifies weakness down here in this muscle, this outer thigh muscle here. So you've got to press your knees out. We've got to fire up this muscle here. So press your knees out so they're in line with your toes. Okay? Now if you have a band, if you want to, you can wrap the band around the legs and you have to press against that band. And you'll feel this muscle here, your IT, and your glute fire up. Okay? So no knees rolling in, press them out. Now from here, toes you keep your knees behind your toes chest up tummy in sit back come up sit back come up let me do it side on for you sit back come up sit back just go as far as you comfortably can keep your chest up sit back come up now I've got a look hopefully lovely flat back there for you my belly button is gently fired up and ultimately Try to get those elbows down to those thighs, but it does not matter, that's what you're targeting. Come on, four more. And up. Two more for me, come on. One more, press those knees out. Lots to think about, I know, and have a little rest. All right, have a little breather. Use little hip circles. 
We are going to do another set of those, okay? All right, so check your position, toes forward. Press those knees out, let's go. Down and up. Down, stick your bottom out, chest up. Three, up, lovely. Four, press those knees out. Five, keep smiling, come on. Six, do not let those knees go forward, sit back. Seven, to 10, come on, eight. Two more. Beautiful, okay, just march on the spot very gently. That was very, very well done, all right? Okay, standing sideways on. You're gonna place your left foot behind you, all right? Now, when you're new to uh, Pilates, this is an exercise that lots find quite difficult because they have weakness in their lower back, around their hips and their pelvis, core's not particularly strong. So, feel free to put a chair at the side of you so you can hold on to the side of a chair or a pole or a wall even, okay? You're gonna make sure your knee and ankle are in a perfect line with each other. Keep your chest up, keep your tummy in, and all you do is lower and up, lower and up, and only go through that range of movement that is comfortable for you. Lower and up, five and up, and if you're happy to, you can take it all the way down to the floor. That's your ultimate goal. Seven, up. Six, up, come on, sorry, nine. I was going the wrong way. One more, 10, that's brilliant. Well done, and rest. Have a little breather, all right? I'm gonna swap legs. You can either turn around so you can hold on to the side. All right, so opposite toe behind you. Chest up, tummy strong. Keep the knee behind that toe, let's go. One, up. Two, up, do what is comfortable for you. As you get stronger, you will go lower. Four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, come on, eight, nine, one more. And have a little breather. Well done, just march it gently. Have a little breather, just loosen him up. That was very, very well done. All right, nice and relaxed. Still working on those leggies. We're gonna do calves, okay, simple calves. You will need a chair or a wall. All right, so we are gonna do a second set of those little lunges. But before we do, feet slightly wider than your hips. Knees slightly soft, but you can see your toes. Chest up, belly button in. Raise all the way up onto those toes. Heels down, sit back. Two, sit, we're in 10. Three, sit. Four, sit. Five, sit. Knees are slightly soft all the time. Sit, four more. Roll all the way through the balls of those feet. High as you can go. Two more, come on. One more. Absolutely brilliant, have a little breather. Okay, well done. We are gonna do a second set of those little lunges for me, okay? So foot forward, chest up. These are really important because you need to know how to get up and down off from the floor using these muscles in your legs correctly. Okay, so chest up, tummy in. Feel free to hold on. Check your knee. Let's go. One, up. Two, up. Three, up. Four, up. Five, up. Six, Seven, nice and controlled. Come on, eight. Two more. One more. 
beautiful. Have a little breather. All right, we've got the other side to do. Turn around, hold on, optionally. Chest up, tummy strong. Check that knee is behind the toe, slowly. Down and up. Now if you're happy, then you've got that core strong. You can take the arms in front. Three, push, four, push, five, push, six, push, seven, push. Just go as far as you can go. Eight, push. Remember you're building up to it. Nine, push. One more. Absolutely well done. Breather. Keep the legs moving. All right. Calves. Last time, second set. Feet slightly wide in the hips. Knees soft. Make sure you can see your toes. Chest up. Belly button. Knees soft. Let's go. Raise. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down, five, down, six, seven, come on, eight, nine, ten, breather, have a little rest, well done, that was very well done, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to come back here, Give the legs a little rest. Take the feet comfortable distance apart. Your knees are nice and soft. You're going to take a breath through that belly button. Fire up that core. Exhale, keep sucking your belly button in. Lift that sternum. Align that spine, head, centre. Chest is open. Now what we're going to do is work on, you may have heard this, your rotator cuff. You have three little muscle groups in the back of your shoulder and they very easily get damaged because they become weak and then when we swing a racket or a heavy object or reach behind us they stress and they strain their pull and it's a nasty injury it can be really nasty so I'm just going to strengthen our little rotator cuffs in that shoulder very simple exercise but very effective if you've had an injury previous which I'm pretty sure some of you will have these are perfect way to rehab it okay so bring your hands up to what I call 90 degree position, palms facing forward. Elbows in line with shoulders, wrists in line with elbows. Okay, slowly, you rotate the palms down and you go as far as you comfortably can, keeping those elbows in line with your shoulders. You very gently raise them up and you press him back as far as he's happy to go. And the object of the game here is to go as far as you comfortably can in both directions. That's two. Come on, three, let's try and do 10, four, five, beautiful, six, number seven, come on, number eight, Two more. Number nine. Give me one more. Number ten. And relax. Well done. Circle your shoulders. Now from here, still working on shoulders a little bit. Knees nice and soft. Belly button fired up. Sternum lifted. Arms in front of you. Keep your elbows slightly soft. You're going to raise your arms out to the side in line with your shoulders and slowly down. But it's not quite as easy as that. As you raise up, you resist. Create a contraction, and then you squeeze as you come down. Okay, we're just gonna do 10. So you resist in both directions. So stir them up, get your gentle little fist, elbow soft, squeeze, and down, squeeze. Two, squeeze up, and down, squeeze. Three, and press. Four. And press. Five. And press. Come on. Six. And press. Seven. 
and press. Eight. Press. Nine. Press. And ten. And press. And relax. Well done, loosen up your shoulders. We're going to go back to the rotator cuff. Are you ready? So, tummy in, palms up. Palms in, facing forward, shoulders relaxed. Three, two, one. Slowly down and all the way up. Pressing back. Two. Come on. Three. Four. Well done. You're starting to feel these a little bit in your shoulders. Good. Five. Pressing back. Six. Seven. Come on. Eight. Nine. Come on, you're nearly there. One more. Ten. Back and relax. Circle your shoulders out. Have a little breather. Okay, knees soft. You ready? We're going to bring the arms to the side again. Squeezing tummy in. Elbow soft. Three, two, one. Squeeze up and down. Two. Press down. Three. Press down. Four. Resist up. Resist down. Five. Come on, feel those muscles in your upper back working. Six. Seven. Come on, squeeze in. Eight. Squeeze in. Two more. Nine. Give me one more to go. And ten. Slowly down. Relax. Have a breather. Loosen up your shoulders. Okay, now from here, I want to do a little bit of more core control. Balance. Okay, now this is a technique I use. It's um, from Tai Bo, which is a kind of martial arts um, exercise. But it's brilliant for core. If you think about any martial artist, they are incredibly strong in their core. Incredibly well balanced, because they have to be. And so should we. Not quite to that extent, but we should be. So, right toe, knee soft. Turn your toe out slightly, all right? And give 10, 10 to a clock. Tip of the toe on the opposite side. Now lift that sternum up, belly button pulled in. Have a chair or a wall at the side of you, all right? Back of the sofa, whatever it might be. You're gonna pull your belly button in because this is where it comes from. You're gonna have your palm down by your side. You're gonna lift the knee up to your hand. You're going to do 10 lifts. Are you ready? So chest up. Let's go. One. And down. Two. And down. If you need to hold on, by all means do. Three. Object of the game is to try not to. Four. Five. Keep that belly button pulled in. Six. Seven. Just take your time. Eight. Tummy strong, good balance. Come on, nine. One more. Use that belly button and rest. Okay, we have the other side to do, so you can spin yourself around if you want to. Turn that toe out. Remember, keep that knee soft, tummy in. Sternum up, palm down. Three, two, one. Let's go. One. Slowly down. Two. Three. Nice and controlled. Four. Five, come on. Six, keep that chest up. Seven, eight, nine, one more. Ten, and rest. Okay, this time same thing, so still working core, just gonna vary it very slightly. Your foot comes in front of you this time, so rather than lifting to the side, I'm gonna lift at the front. So palm in front of you, hold on if you wish. Belly button in. Ready? Let's go. One. Now, both of these exercises, what you're ultimately looking to achieve is to not touch the floor. All right? It's harder than it looks. All right? Just keep that belly button in. We just need 10 of these. Four more, I make that. Two more. And one more. 
absolutely beautiful. Relax. Let's do the other side. You can practice these every day. Knees soft. You don't need to warm up or prep them. Tummy in. Ready? Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Come on. Five. Four. Three. Two. Give me one to go. Clever bunnies. And relax, recover. Okay, turn side on. Now, we're going to take ourselves down to the floor. So, I want you to think about those lunges that we did. Okay, and the reason that we're trying to build the strength up here, because this is how we should be getting up and down off from the floor. All right, so what I want you to do, make sure that toe is right out and that knee stays in line with the ankle, and just slowly lower yourself down to the floor. And when we are finished, that's exactly how you will come back out of it. This is why these lunges are so good to do. All right, so when you're ready, guys, take yourself gently down to the floor. Okay? You're going to pop your hands on the floor and you're going to arch your back into what we call a cat stretch. You arch your back, tuck your tail under, press down into that mat, tail between your legs. Bring your chin down to your chest and move your tail left to right gently. All right, this is a classic Pilates exercise, okay? You're going to pop your hands on the floor, slightly wider than your shoulders. Your knees slightly wider than your hips. You're going to take a breath through that belly button again, so it's still core. Breathe in, suck your belly button in, exhale, suck your belly button in. Make sure your head is in neutral line with your spine. Now, when you've done that with your core, you'll find this area becomes strong. So if somebody came and put a weight on you, you'd be able to resist it. If you let your belly button go, that happens. You dip, back dips, you lose all that uh, muscle control in the core, and you've lost the pelvis. It's all the stresses on the lower back. So take a breath through that belly button. Exhale, keep that belly button in. Now, keeping that control, we're going to strengthen. Simple exercise to strengthen it. Take your left knee off from your mat and hover. Right palm hover, and you're going to circle that palm 10 circles clockwise. Try and keep your head in a nice neutral with your spine. Don't let it drop. 10 in one direction, and then 10 in the opposite direction when you're ready. Have a break as often as you need to. These are all nice and simple, but very effective. Doesn't take a lot, does it, to be effective? So 10 in each direction, then slowly bring it back to center, and just recover by arching your back, tucking your tail. Move your tail, loosen and stretch. Do what feels good. Bring it back. Take a breath through that core. Lift the opposite knee and palm, hover. Try and keep those hips square to the mat. And let's draw 10 circles. It's all about quality, guys, not quantity. 10 in each direction. If you ever find any of these exercises a little difficult, or due to a, an issue you have historically or currently, do leave a comment below and I will give you a suggested alternative. There's 101 ways to work every muscle in your body. So you have to adapt and do what works for you. So opposite direction, so it's 10 each again. Once you've done your 10, back to center. Arch your back gently, tuck your tail. was really well done. Now from here, feet are apart, knees are apart, and just gently walk your hands in, sit your bottom back onto your heels. Okay, open the knees a little bit wider and the feet will come together. Arms in front of you and you just bend your elbows gently down towards the mat and just hold that stretch. If you are happy, you are very welcome to lower your forehead, otherwise stick with just your elbows. Take a breath. Just loosening up that lower back.
and then very slowly come up and we are going to do the core again so slowly come back up tummy strong check your headline belly button okay breathe through that belly button knee and palm let's go 10 in each direction in your own time opposite direction when you're ready Once you've done, come to centre cat stretch. Follow through on side two when you're ready. Core strong. Hover. Off you go. Come on, you can do this. Opposite direction. center once you're ready cat stretch again for me now turn those feet knees out bring the feet together sit your bottom back gently open those knees a little bit wider lower your elbows down gently take a breath and relax into that stretch all right as I say you are very welcome to lower your forehead down to the floor just do what feels comfortable for you you're working towards it now very slowly keep the chest up take the arms across to that thigh and just gently lay your chest over that thigh again you're resting on the elbows they're supporting you you can take yourselves down if you wish like a so but otherwise stay propped up Very gently bring him back to centre, take him across the opposite side and again lay over the thigh. Just take a breath. And very gently bring him back to centre. Can you come up onto all fours for me? Alright. Keep your knees wider than your hips take your hands wide on the floor now from here a little bit of chest work you're going to take your nose to the floor and press through those palms coming up nice and simple all right so tummy nice and strong take a breath through that core slowly lower the nose down to the mat and push up let's just do 10 in our own time keep that belly button pulled in try to touch the floor if you can Press through those palms gently. Just a nice one to strengthen the chest and the upper back. Once you've done your 10, just bring yourself back up onto your knees gently. Have a little breather. I just want to stretch the front of your quads for you. We are going to do another set of press ups, but bring your foot up first. Walk your foot forward and just gently bend your knee you'll get a stretch here down the front of that thigh now make sure that that foot walks out that heel needs to be underneath your ankle lots of people you see do this that's a no-go zone because you're putting the low through your little knee joint there so walk your foot out so your support is underneath it look and just hold that stretch and then relax gently bring him back can we do the other side so bring him up, walk that foot forward, and again, just gently bend that knee. Hold him there. Relax into the stretch. Slowly bring him back. Now we have got one more set of press-ups. Down you go, arms wide, tummy strong. Let's go. One. Push. Two. Come on, just to ten. Nearly there. Three. 
one more just keep going till you've done your 10 have a breather and relax okay last but not least we're almost home now we're going to lay prone position which is face down on our tummies so lay yourselves down nice and relaxed okay so prop yourself up on your elbows for me now the first thing we're going to do toes pointing in heels fall away and just rock your hips gently loosening up your lower lumbar it's a nice thing to do all right it's very relaxed there's nothing you're not loading it when you stand upright your lower back is taking the stress at the moment because you're laying down there's nothing being loaded through there so loosen up that area let those muscles relax okay so now we are going to do what we call a half plank so you've possibly all heard of the plank all right but it's very similar to what we did on the bridge on all fours okay so you're going to take a breath through your belly button you're going to suck your belly button through the wall towards the small of your spine your elbows are underneath your shoulders okay propped up keep your knees on the floor and make sure your feet are gripped all right you can put it up against the skirting all right if you wish but just make sure your knees are on the floor we're only doing a half plank you're going to very gently lift your hips off from the floor okay and you're going to hold that position keeping the belly button in now no bottoms in the air and if you let your belly button go your back's going to dip so you've got to keep your belly button pulled in okay so just relax on the floor what we're going to do we're going to do it for a count of 20 20 seconds are you ready so slowly raise yourselves up hold that position for me tummy nice and strong make sure your head is in neutral try to relax the shoulders Breathe through that belly button. Five seconds. And release him very gently and lower down to the floor. That wasn't too bad, was it? Okay, so loosen up that lower back again. We're just saying hello to these core muscles. We've done lots of core because we've done some Tybo, which is core. Obviously, um, your bridge, which was core. All right, so we're going to do another 20 seconds. Are you ready? Lift yourself up, breath through that belly button, hold that position. Come on, you can do this. 10 seconds. And relax and lower. Well done, loosen him up very gently. Very well done. Okay, now we're gonna slowly push ourselves up onto our knees into our cat stretch. Arch that back, tuck that tail, press down into the floor. Very well done, you've done it. And then very, very slowly release. Come up onto your knees and sit nice and tall. Stay where you are. You're going to slowly reach your left arm up, palm facing in, and just gently lean over to the side. My knees are apart, nice and supported. Reach him gently, keep the chest up. Just hold him there and relax. And the other side, palm in, reach him up. Keep the arm back, don't have him forward, keep him up. Very well done. Relax. Now from here, stay where you are. You're going to take one leg straight in front of you. Straighten that leg out in front of you. All right? So you're going to get your hamstring here. And all you're going to do is just lean forward gently with that toe turned up towards you. Hold that stretch. And slowly relax and come up bring the knee back in bring the opposite foot out so again walk him out turn that toe up and you can rest on the thigh and tail out if you do find this exercise because you're on your knees if you have any knee problems you can do this in a standing position so once we come all the way up I will demonstrate the standing position one for you And then release them very gently and bring yourself up. Okay, now from here, we are back into that lunge position. Make sure the knee and the ankle are in line. 
turn that back toe under and push yourself up to start position. Very well done. So as promised, hamstring, it's this one. And you turn the toe up. So exactly the same thing standing if you would prefer to do that. Once you're up, you're going to take a lovely big breath in. Out and down. And again, up and in. Out and down. Well done. I hope you feel better for that. Um, go and have an amazing day. I will follow up with a part two, which will be lots of other exercises you can do still in the beginner format. But I hope you enjoyed this first one. Take care. Have an amazing day. Keep safe. Be kind. Lots of love. See you soon. Bye for now.